I'll cut straight to the chase here. Ubuntu 23.10 is great. It has a lot of improvements that make it the most enjoyable experience that I've had using Ubuntu in a very long time. In fact, it feels a lot like the good old days when each release of Ubuntu brought some nice new touches and gave you this warm fuzzy feeling every time you sat down to use it. Wait, oh, uh, is that just me? Uh, well, anyways, regardless of that, this Ubuntu release gives me those nice warm feelings that I haven't felt in a very long time. So without further ado, let's talk about Ubuntu 23.10. Ubuntu 23.10, codenamed Mantic Minotaur, might at first seem like any other interim release of Ubuntu. After all, it's updated the core apps and desktop environment, added a couple new features, and has 9 months of support. But the moment that you start using it, you'll realize there's far more to it than we're used to seeing out of Ubuntu in recent years. First off, the installer has been completely rewritten, and whilst it does provide essentially the same options, it looks far more modern and seems to be a bit faster as well. It's just such a smooth starting experience that gives a very good first impression of 23.10. Do note, however, one change is that the minimal install option, which just provides the base system and utilities, is now the default. So if you want the typical apps like LibreOffice and media players and the like, be sure to select the full install option. But after the installation, we are greeted with a mostly familiar desktop here, albeit with one immediately obvious change thanks to GNOME version 45. The activities button in the top left has now been replaced by a workspace indicator, and whilst I wasn't sure how I felt about this change at first, it's really grown on me over time. See, it's really nice to have a clear visual indicator of which workspace you're currently on and how many of them that you have at any given time. Now, clicking on it still opens the activities overview as you'd expect, but it also doubles as a workspace switcher, as you can scroll your mouse wheel while hovering over it to switch between workspaces. Now, for those of you that love using keyboard shortcuts, this may not mean all that much to you, but if you're already using the mouse to point and click on things, it's actually really convenient to just fling the mouse pointer to the top left corner and scroll. And the improvements keep coming the moment that you open some windows. All of the main GNOME applications have this elegant new full height sidebar that looks really nice and modern. Yeah, I know, I was also surprised to learn that modern interface design could actually look good. Anyways, in addition, a tiling assistant extension is also implemented by default now, which vastly improves window snapping capabilities. Now, when you snap a window to one half of the screen, you'll be prompted to choose which app to automatically snap to the other half. Additionally, you can now tile windows to a corner quarter of the screen, as well as the bottom half of the screen. When you have windows snapped against each other, Dragging to resize one will smartly adjust the adjacent window as well, so that they don't overlap each other. Oh, and you can still maximize a window by flicking it up to the top, but now if you hold it there for a second, you can instead snap it to the top half of the screen as well. These are admittedly some small improvements, but they really do make window snapping more seamless than before, and it's really a joy to use. Now, these aforementioned improvements, along with a slew of app updates, all come courtesy of the GNOME desktop, but let's dive into the work put separately into Ubuntu itself, as there's quite a lot to unpack here. One of the biggest headlining features that's gotten the most press, I'm not sure if it's good or bad press, but eh, is the new App Center. It's been entirely rewritten from the ground up, and at least at first glance, it seems pretty nice. It's certainly pretty fast to navigate around and feels pretty smooth. It's certainly noticeably better than the outdated implementation of GNOME software that Ubuntu's been using in the past, and it seems to have all of the core features here that you would expect. Whilst there has been some concern that this app center would only support snap packages, I'm pleased to report that it does also let you search for deb packages in the Ubuntu repositories. Now, it does default to showing just snap results, but you can easily view dev packages via the filter dropdown. 
Of course, with Canonical pushing for snap packages as the future of apps on Linux, there is no flat pack support here, and there probably never will be. But for better or worse, snaps, along with traditional repository packages, do cover most every application you could need, so I'm generally pleased with the implementation here. It's a fast, clean, and straightforward experience to get and manage your applications, Though I do still stand by my past complaints that Ubuntu includes a separate software updater utility when, especially now with their own software app, they really could just roll that functionality together into this new app center. We really don't need a separate app just for updates. But speaking of new apps, there is a new firmware updater app, which is an app to manage firmware updates. I bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Canonical claims that this is far more efficient on system resources than handling firmware updates through the software app like before, and I am inclined to believe them, though I don't currently have any updates available to speak on how well it actually works. There's just something that feels so smooth and complete about the user experience in 23.10. Perhaps it's because I haven't used Ubuntu or GNOME in nearly a year, so maybe they've just both gotten a lot better over time. But I do think that there's something tangible about this release that feels like peak Ubuntu and really peak Linux desktop. Maybe it's the refined look of the inbuilt apps and the quick settings panel, or maybe the improved window management while using the apps. Or maybe it's the surprisingly complete and pleasant to look at settings pages, or the context menus that finally have most of the options you could actually need. Because after all, GNOME has fallen short with those in the past. But this all feels like such a complete and mature experience, which is something that I haven't been able to say about Ubuntu in years. I think 23.10 is definitely worth a try, and if you're waiting for the next long-term support release, 24.04 should be really great if it's anything like this. But do let me know your thoughts on 23.10, Mantic Minotaur, and please do consider pressing those usual YouTube buttons if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Planet Linux. Oh, my pants. Uh, well, I figured out what was causing that warm feeling.